guide of rules you have to follow to get one of these things, and they try to preclude similarities, but still you want to be sure. Another possible issue is uh, punicode domains. I have not looked into what happens at bit errors in punicode domains. For those uh, unfamiliar, punicode is how you would you use internationalized characters in domain lookups. But it's quite possible that a bit error in a punicode domain in one language would actually be a domain in a completely different language, making uh, the attempted use of trademark laws to get it back extremely difficult. Um, I would like to uh, give a special thanks to a few people, uh, notably Robert Edmonds of ISC, who uh, first noticed DNS bit errors in uh, SAE data. Another person is uh, Paul Royal, who helped me immensely when creating the white paper for this. Aaron Lemasters for uh, acting as the adversarial researcher. The entire Raytheon Roslin office for their support and helping me with many multiple reviews. My uh, other patient and supported reviewers, whom I uh, begged to review my slides and my white paper. The DEF CON 19 staff for helping me actually present this to you guys. And to everybody who licenses your photography in a Creative Commons format, without you this presentation would not have been possible. And of course, to all of you guys who came to see my talk, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, finally, I'd like to say, uh, if you want a quick tool to identify which bit squats of your domain are available, you can get a Python script at dynaberg.org. Thank you.